previous video, I introduced how to plot 2D and 3D line data in MATLAB. When you have data such as 3D matrix and 4D data, you may also want to plot partial or all data from a matrix you have. So today I will introduce the method of 3D and 4D data plotting and how to get a size of data. So in a 2D space, we can present 2D lines and images. In 3D space, we plotted 3D lines before. Same as 2D plots, plot 3 can also present 3D matrix. So let's start with an example. So in first line here, we actually build 3D matrix data. This mesh grid, we can get X plane, Y plane, and Z plane data. And by using a plot 3, we can get a result of our 3D plots. So let's run this section. So in our figure here, you can see it's plotted and connect all points by using lines. So this is the default setting of plot 3. So all plot function in MATLAB is based on line plotting. So if you prefer called point plotting, as we mentioned before, just need to add this O sign here. And let's run the section again and see what will this figure become. And you can see in here, it's plotted as a called point data. Also, you can change this to dot or star. But the most common way to plot cut points data in MATLAB is using this scatter 3 and it's from the section you can see we get the same result as what we had before when we use the circle sign in plot 3 also by using the build inside function we can see the specific 2d plan of the matrix by providing the level we want so we call this B an object as the matrix we want to plot. And now the X slice means we want to know the slice of X, meaning we want to find the slice on X axis when X equal to one, uh, minus 1 1.2, 0 0.8, and 2. We don't want to f find any size on Y axis here. But we also want to show size on Z axis when Z equal to zero. So let's run this section and see the result. Now you can see in the plot here, so this plane is our X plane and this slice, the first slice here, is the slice when x equal to minus 1.2, and this slice is when x equal to 0 0.8, this slice is equal to x equal to 2. You can also try to add some size here. So maybe we can change the y size equal to 1 and see the result. You can see we got one more plane when y s is equal to 1. So how about 4D data? Let's see the example of 4D data plotting. So watch the figure here. So what just happened is the way we plot 4D data in MATLAB. So to understand what is 4D data, you could treat it as a record of a 3D object change by time. Human eyes cannot see 4D object at the same time in 3D space, but we can make a dynamic plot in 3D space to show the change of this 3D object. So let me explain the code for you so you could understand how to plot 4D data and what just happened. So in the first section, I read matrix under folder in the working path. So I prepared 20 matrix to read. 
You can see in the workspace here, there's a thing called kidney list. And it's a 20 by 1 struct. It means it just read it 20 metrics. And in here, I converted all metrics into one big metric called kidney. You can also find it in this workspace here. So this kidney matrix is actually 1924 by 3 by 20 matrix. So this 20 means how many matrix I just imported. I want to explain what does this 1924 by 3 means. So let's expand the matrix here. I won't show you all data in this video, but I want to let you take a look. There is three columns and it re represents the X, Y and Z. And this one means this is the first matrix. Also, it's the first figure I will plot in the dynamic plotting. And I got 1,924 data in each column. So now we can actually put one of the matrix and see what will happen. So what we're going to do is, let's say, copy paste. I want to run this section. But before we run the section, one thing I want to mention is this end need to be changed to specific layers. Say we want to plot the first matrix. Let's run the section and see what will happen. So you can see this plot is what we got from the first matrix we read. Even though the first matrix is actually a uh, 2D matrix. So to show that, I want to present the data of our first matrix. Let's call the figure, and you can see this matrix is actually 1924 by 3 matrix, but not a n by n by n matrix. But we get the x data here in our first column y data by second column and z data by third column so we can use plot 3 to plot the figure and let's run the section again so you can see the figure clearly so what we want to do to plot 4D data is to plot all data one by one so now in this loop we read matrix one by one and there's 20 matrix and run this loop, you will notice it will plot figures one by one and put them as cut point. In this part, we actually save or we just plot it as a GIF file, but I will ignore it for now. So now let's run the section again. So what you just saw is the plot of 4D data. So now I want to show you the JF file we just generated. So this image is generated by what we just had from the figure plotting. And I will put the source code here. You can change the speed of the GIF play by changing the time step in here. Similarly, a 2D plot can also use this trick for 3D metrics. And then the plot can build a 2D GIF for a 3D matrix. So in this video, we introduce the size function for 3D matrix plots for 4D data and tricks to make GIF from MATLAB.
Hope this video is helpful.